or gather anything else that I could use them with. We strive for it, for sure. It's more so also about um, integrating, right? Just integrating all the different platforms and making sure that we support the TV side, but the TV side also supports us. We're still trying to figure out in terms of exactly that crossover and pushing from one platform to another, how effective that is and how we can do it better and faster. So while we're very much an integral part of the newsroom now, we sit right beside the assignment desk, we're very involved in everything that happens, everything pretty much that happens on the air has a place online. Um, we're still kind of in that realm of how we can work together and how that flow of information really happens and that's developing every day and we're getting better and we're doing better and that's really what makes the job so exciting. No one has yet figured out how to effectively monetize the internet uh, and the digital disbursement of uh, news content. You know, lots of places have tried. Uh, the Washington Post, the New York Times, uh, lots of people have tried. Uh, at the end of the day, creating news content costs money and we have to, we have to find a way to recover those costs. <laughs> The tweets? Yeah, that's a new part of the job now. So, uh, you know, when you do get on scene, uh, you usually take, take a picture, tell people that we are here in their community. Can we talk to you really quick? Just what are your thoughts about how the fact that, uh, you know, they're shutting this down and it's going to be in for quite a while, everyone's going to have to use the stairs. It sucks. I just keep one in my bag. Um, you know, we're a visual medium, so you always want to try to find different ways of telling a story. And if you can, you know, tell it with a low angle shot going up the stairs, I can use this to follow people's feet. It's got a nice wide angle lens on it. So, yeah, it helps. No matter what medium you're in, whether it's print, radio, television, uh, you know, web, online, uh, it's all about storytelling and that's why many of us have gotten into this business That's why I got into this business because we really want to be able to take the viewer um, Into the situation to bring them here and to you know give them a perspective of what like they're experiencing it for themselves What we need to be in order to survive uh, is that bastion of uh, great journalism that um, uh, that we're uh, rooted in, holding the powerful to account, giving a voice to those who otherwise uh, wouldn't have it, calling bullshit when we see it, uh, and, and reflecting the community back to itself. There is definitely a place for a six o'clock newscast. It might be shorter, more dynamic, uh, you know, it obviously always has to evolve. We're not the only industry we, you know, that is having to think smarter these days. So we can't be feeling sorry for ourselves. No one can predict the future, right? So uh, I think we've heard the uh, death knell of news uh, for a while now, and it still hasn't happened. So that makes me uh, optimistic. Um, I have some hope that it, the decline. Um, isn't as rapid as uh, some folks have suggested. So uh, I think we're going to see a lot of change in the next five to ten years for sure as uh, viewer consumption habits change. Exactly what those are, I'm not sure anybody really knows.